Hello viewers and uh, dear students. Today I am here to explain the Cambridge IGCSE ICT 2017 October November Paper 2 Presentation Part. In this part of the question paper, they ask you that you are required to create a short presentation. Our slide must have a consistent layout for meeting unless otherwise instructed. Slides should display a title and bulleted list. So create a presentation of six slides using the file N17 growth. So I'm just going to open first of all PowerPoint program. Then we'll click on file and click on open and we'll open the file from our source files which is called growth N17 growth. This is the one, so it is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and total 6 slides. That is done. Then they have mentioned create a master slide to display the following features on the slide. The company logo N17 logo dot JPG position at the right top right corner approximately size with aspect ratio maintained. So I am going to click on view then we'll click on slide master then we'll go to the top of the slide and then we will click on insert to insert the picture so we'll click on desktop into our files logo i'm going to reduce the size of this picture to for example 2 cm so this is how it will look like we'll put it at the right top corner just like that then next step is a 3 to 4 point wide horizontal line across the full width of the slide and below the logo about 3 cm from the top so you just need to get a line from here a line so 3 cm so that is 1 2 and you can say this is 3 so I'm just going to draw a line straight under the or below the logo 3 cm we'll just bring it down a little bit now it is 3 cm just like that and then the width of this one between 3 to 4 point so we'll choose for example 3 point and color they did not mention but I'm just going to choose black color here yeah then after they said the text Tawara cruises in black uh, black 48 point uh, italic font above the line a line to the top left of the slide make sure text does not wrap so in this case what I'm going to do is I'm just going to get from here a text box and I will draw a text box here and will paste the heading as they said in 48 point font size and just select then 48 point and then this must be in a uh, sensor if they did not mention so just uh, this is enough I guess yeah and then after we will uh, make this one into the uh, black and italic font so we'll make it italic and then 48 point above the line so make sure the text is not wrapped so you need to make this one a little bit bigger so now the text is not wrapped so above the heading just here and at exact left that's it and then next point they have mentioned here uh, text does not wrap your name center number candidate number in the bottom right corner so we need the footer here that our name then center number and then our candidate number just like that and this must be at the uh, right of the corner and then slide number at the left corner so we just need to put this one towards the right side and side number to the left we don't need the date and time here so we're just going to reduce this one and then we will just try to 
uh, arrange this here towards the right here and this is a slide number left align they have mentioned here so we'll just click on left align and this one we are going to click on right align yeah that's it now you need to click on insert add in footer one time again and just click here so to confirm that it will appear on all the pages next step is to apply all master slide uh, element to all the slides make sure that no master element text or chart overlap each other so we just uh, not to overlap anything in this case so we will just uh, click on view and then normal view this is how it will look like and then after yes they have mentioned here that create a pie chart using the data in the file n17 pass number so we'll just minimize this one and we will go to the uh, pass number file and then we need to create the chart should only show the number of passenger region by 2019 so we'll choose these three and then this data and then pie chart they have mentioned so we are going to choose a normal 2d pie chart and then after they have mentioned uh, label label the chart with the title this must be the label display a legend and then display also each sector percentage value so I'm going to choose this option uh, percentage values this is enough and then I will change here the label that's it and then they said place the chart to the left of the bulleted points on the side with the title worldwide cruise passengers so we just click here and we are going to yeah just a little bit adjustment is required as it is very big the I yeah, will just copy this one yeah just uh, copy and then we'll go to a presentation with the cruise worldwide cruise passengers so we are going to move this one here and then here we are going to just click on uh, paste here so you will get the chart here just like that make sure the data and value is clearly visible and next step is set the slide show so it loops continuously on the screen so for this one you need to click on uh, slide show then set up slide show and then we have an option called loop continuous and then just click on ok but before click on ok i'm going to check what else they said here place in your evidence document screenshot showing your method so it means they want to get the print screen of this method to paste it as our evidence here this is how we uh, do the looping into our spreadsheet so if you want to crop it just crop from all the corners and then you can make it bigger just like that as you can see now you have the screenshot here and then next step they ask you save the presentation print the presentation as a handout with six slides to the page so click on here and print then just click on print slides here six slides horizontal just like that so this is how you will print this one uh, into six slides per page and then after they said print only the slide with the title worldwide tour passengers make sure that the slide fills the full page so then just click on again uh, a normal view here or full page slide 
so this is the one they want to print it as a single slide so that's all from the presentation part of this question paper hope you have learned all how to deal with the slide master and to prepare a presentation for print thanks for watching subscribe the channel for more videos and updates